Man United boards Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sack decision after recent struggles. Manchester United have lost three of their last four games in all competitions, with the pressure growing on under fire manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer retains the full support of the Manchester United board, despite losing three of the last four games, according to reports. The United boss is facing increasing scrutiny in the light of their 1-0 loss to Aston Villa in the Premier League on Saturday. That home reversal came just four days after they lost by the same scoreline to West Ham in the Carabao Cup. Add a humbling 2-1 defeat to young boys in the Champions League and the Red Devils' good early season form now completely eludes them. Solskjaer was backed in the summer transfer window, with Rafael Varane, Jadon Sancho and Cristiano Ronaldo all arriving at the club. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has overseen three defeats in his last four games as Man United boss. But with those signings, there is now increased expectation that United need to be in the mix for major trophies, having failed to win any silverware since the Norwegians' appointment in 2018. However, even with their indifferent form, ESPN claimed that Old Trafford bosses remain adamant that Solskjaer is the man to bring United back to the summit of English and European football. The 48-year-old was handed a new three-year contract during the summer window and executive vice chairman Ed Woodward suggested United were on the right path under his stewardship. In a statement which accompanied their end-of-year financial results, Woodward claimed that the summer transfer activity proved the commitment to the main in the dugout. We significantly strengthened the squad over the summer, with the addition of Cristiano Ronaldo, Rafael Varane, Jadon Sancho and Tom Heaton, the statement read. These signings have demonstrated our continued ability to attract some of the world's best footballers to Old Trafford, and our firm commitment to helping Old deliver success on the pitch. We were delighted to welcome back Cristiano to the club, along with Rafael, Jaden and Tom, to further reinforce the progress that our first team has been making under Ole. Solskjaer retains the support of the United board including owners the Glazers and executive vice chairman Ed Woodward. We have been clear in our strategy to build a squad with a blend of top-class recruits and homegrown talent, comprising a balance of youth and experience with the aim of winning trophies and playing attacking football the Manchester United way. Even though he currently has the support of those above him, Solskjaer has previously admitted that he knows he is only a handful of games from the chop. Of course, you've got to look at the short-term results as well but my vision is long-term and my discussions with the club have always been long-term, he said at the end of 2020. But also short-term, you can't not think about the next six games. You've got to think about the next game and the next six. You also have to plan and think for the bigger picture. For me, I can only speak from my experience. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for up-to-date news from all around the globe. Thanks for watching, it was latest football news daily, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.